In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Shure Members. Is it a solid plugin? Is it worth your money? I'm going to save you all that headache and cover pretty much everything that you need to know before you make that purchase. And by the way, if you purchase Shure Members using my affiliate link in the video description below, I will also give you a bonus to Divi University. All right, let's not waste a lot of time. Let's dive in and let's take a look at Shure Members. So the first thing we want to take a look at is the installation. Is it easy to install? Is it easy to set up? So in my opinion, it is very, very easy to install. Now, after you've purchased this, all you have to do is to come over here to plugins, click on add new. And since it's downloaded on your computer, all you have to do is to click here on upload plugin. You choose the file and you install and activate. Pretty much that's it. Now I've done a video as well, showing you how to create a membership website. You can see that whole process in that video. I'll link it in the video description. All right, so once you've uploaded it, all you have to do now is to come over here to show members activate your license and activating the license is also very easy. You come over here to the top where it says licensed, you click here, and then this is where you want to paste your license key. And you know what? This is all your, also your settings page. So this is where you'd go in and take a look at your admin settings. You can take a look at your user roles, redirection rules, login customizer, uh, login uh, restrictions, now, here's the thing. A lot of membership plugins are so complicated. I mean, in fact, just to try and work out the settings, it's, I mean, you need some time to really go through it. So here, seeing how simple it is, I mean, the UI is so basic. It's almost too basic. I mean, that's the thing. But in my opinion, this does the job. It's not very overwhelming, especially for anyone who's new to setting up a membership website. Now, the thing I like about Sure Members is once you install it, pretty much setting up the membership levels is very easy. Now, I mentioned the UI, take a look at what happens here on the top. So since you're here on the settings, to go back, you just click here on this back arrow and we are back here. So the access groups are actually the membership levels. Now, let me show you how amazing this is to create a membership level. So all you have to do is to click on add new, you give it a name. So let's call this uh, Mac members. And then here is where you decide on what you need to protect on the website. So if you click on this drop down, you can either choose the entire website. If it's all blog posts, you can just choose your posts. If it's specific pages, you can come over here and choose specific pages by just coming over here. If it's categories, if it's specific uh, categories in blog posts, you can do it over here and you can do multiple ones as well. So let's say, I want to go in and um, go to my categories here. So let's say I have specific pages that I need to protect. I can just start typing here and let's say it's private policy. I can add another one just by typing over here. So it is very easy to go in and protect all the content that you need to protect. Now, what's really cool here as well is if you're using Tutor LMS or any of those um, LMS plugins, you can also come in here and protect that content too. So as soon as you install it, it will show here on the drop down. So the really cool thing here as well is you can also exclude pages or posts. So I know I have a post here called post something. So there is post three. So let's say I want to exclude this from being protected. I can also go in and do that as well. So that's pretty cool. Now there's also another feature here, which is also very, very good. When you want to drip your information, let's say you've created a course and you don't want to just uh, put it out there for everyone to see. What you can actually do here is you can drip the content. So you can come over here, you can show the content. So right now I don't have any uh, courses for me to drip, but if I had any, I could just go in, start typing it here. In this case, I'm going to use the example of my blog posts. So I'm going to start here with post one, and then I'm going to say after duration, I'm going to say after one day, and I can also select the specific time. So I'm going to say after one day at midnight, and then I'm going to select um, PM and pretty much that's it. <laughs> if I need to add another one, I can click here on add. So let's say this is a post two. So let's go ahead and add it. So now this will be after duration. And then this is after two days. And this could be at the same time like that. So when someone signs up, they're not going to see all the content. It's going to be dripped every pretty much every day like I've done. Now there's also another thing that I really like about Shure members and that is the downloads. So you can come over here and specify your download and that can be protected under that membership level. So as you can see, this interface here does quite a lot. It looks very simple, but it does quite a lot. 
Now over here on the right, this is where you can set up a redirect for anyone who's not authorized to see this content. So this can actually redirect to say maybe a sales page, which then specifies why they should become a member and then they, you can have a button on there. But if you don't want to create a specific page here, you can also add a message. So the message here also comes with a few uh, items. So you can add your message in here, you can add a button text and you can add your button URL. Pretty cool. Now it could be that someone has logged out. That is why they can't see the content. You can also enable this log. So as you can see, they've really thought this through and I like the simplicity of it because these are the sort of things that are difficult to put together as you're building your membership website. Now, I'll also give you another example. Uh, when I was using a wishlist member, I had to install a specific plugin that does the login redirects. But with Sure Members, this is included in the actual software, which is fantastic. The other thing that I really like about Sure Members is the fact that it is lightweight. You know, before I've used these membership plugins and they are really, really bloated. Or maybe I shouldn't use the word bloated, but they are full of features, which some of them you never, ever, ever, ever use. So they're just sitting there, but not really doing much. As a result, you're going to have a plugin that is so, you know, resource intensive. It makes your website slow. And that is very, very frustrating for me. But in this case, it's lightweight, it's snappy, and I really, really love the fact that, you know, it does not have a lot of weight with it. Now, when it comes to users, if you want to go in and manage them, you would come over here to users and go to, let's say, all users. So here is where I am. If I click on edit, it looks like your generic WordPress. But if you scroll all the way down here, this is where you get your access groups. So let's say you want to add someone to an access group. So in this case, let me add myself. So I know I have lifetime members as a membership level. I can then say add access group. So now I've been added to this membership level. I can revoke access as well if I want to. And then I can just click on update. So at this point, you're probably thinking, Mac, this is way too good. Sure members is really, really amazing. Now there are a few things that you need to be aware of before you can actually start using Sure members. Now let's say you want to make your membership paid membership. This is where now on its own, Sure members does not provide this. Now I thought to myself, is this a good thing or is it a bad thing? And I can't really make up my mind because they could be say uh, some users out there that just prefer to have a website that's just purely a membership website and that works fine. But if you want to make it paid, there's also another plugin called Shortcut and it's made by the same team that's made uh, Shore members. So this is what now integrates and allows that payment gateway. It is very easy to uh, install and it integrates seamlessly. So you may be thinking, well, Mac, we are now adding more money to Sure members, well, guess what? If you're just going to uh, secure your membership levels and uh, make it a paid membership level, well, Shortcut is absolutely free. So you can just, you know, install it and then you can go to your membership levels and integrate those and pretty much you have a paid membership system. So this is what it looks like. It also comes with a dashboard. I mean, it has a lot of features. Shortcut and Sure members really, really work well together. So this will be a solution for having a paid membership website. Let's talk about uh, how it integrates with uh, page builders and in this case, Divi. So if I come over here, if I click this, right away you can see here it says restrict this block. So I can actually go in and restrict this specific block based on access group. So I only have lifetime members, so I can go in and say, show this block when user is in, and then I can say lifetime members. Now this is something that you don't see when you are just playing around with sure members. So these are sort of like the extra features you get at the page builder level. And this is really, really cool. I really like this. So you can also use this by saying not in, and then you can just add it here like that. Now, let's say this is Divi. Can we do that? Unfortunately, you can't. So right now here, I have a module. So I'm gonna go in here, click on this gear icon, go to advanced. So for this to work, I need to go to conditions, display conditions. Over here, you can see there's nothing that relates to shortcut. Weirdly, <laughs> we have 
We have uh, shortcut products collections. We have shortcut upsells. So I don't know why we would have shortcut and not short members. Because ideally, we would need to have short members here integrated with Divi for this to work as it is over here on Gutenberg. Okay, and I hope that's something that they may want to look at. So that's my first concern or first uh, sort of negative thing uh, when it comes to Divi. But I'm pretty sure this works really well with Elementor because Elementor's integration usually is really, really good. Now there's a workaround for those of you that are probably thinking, you know what, I'm not gonna purchase Shure Members now because there's no integration. Now let me show you something really cool. If you wanted to use Shure Members, what you do is you open up your page with Gutenberg. Now I'm not sure if you knew this, but if you click here on add block, there's a DV layout block. So now I can go in here and add the specific item that I need to show or not show my members. So I'm gonna build this from scratch and I'm going to add a single row. And in here, let's add a, sing a blurb. And I'm just going to add an icon. I'm not going to go in and do a fully fledged uh, design here. So let's just save this. So now that I have this, I can now save this page or this design and close out of here. So now you can see that we have our DV content. So what you do now, you can see here, this is selected. You can now come to restrict this block and then you can add your access groups. So pretty much this is similar to what we've achieved over here, but you just have to remember that you should not create the complete page using the Divi Builder. So you may be thinking, well, can I really protect pages that are created using Divi? Yes, if you wanna protect the complete page, you can do that. So it's just a minor thing here where if you are, use, if you are trying to use show members to protect individual uh, modules, then that option is not there if you go to the conditions. But if it's part of this Gutenberg layout, it works fine. If you wanna protect the complete DV page, it works fine. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about is migration. So let's say I wanna move from member press or wishlist member or paid membership pro to show members. There isn't really a way to do that. I haven't seen any features where I can import my users into uh, short members. So this is something that if you are trying to move from another membership plugin onto short members, this could be a challenge. However, if you are someone who wants to build a brand new website using short members, then definitely, you know, that's not a problem for you. All right, so moving on to the next item, and this is the dashboard. I would have really loved if uh, Shaw members had a some sort of a members dashboard where you can just um, see pretty much what you are signed up for, uh, what you have access to, and so on. Now, with that said, maybe they decided it's a good idea to have this with Shortcut because Shortcut does have a dashboard for all your students or for your members, which has all that information. So again, I'm not really sure if that's a good idea not to have it in Shore members and rather have it with uh, Shortcut after someone has purchased. But I still think that even if you are not on a paid membership, uh, you still need some sort of a dashboard so you can see all your information. All right, so uh, the big one here is integration. So out of the box, it's not clear where to integrate, I mean, how this integrates with other platforms. Like let's say I wanted to use this with uh, Fluent CRM. There is no integration directly from Shore members. However, they have what are known as Short triggers. So short triggers is super powerful. You can pretty much connect, you know, everything with other plugins. It's similar to uh, Zapier. So it is, I mean, it works really great. So as I'm looking at this, I'm looking at it as, is this really a negative or is it something that positive? Because surely out of the box, if you wanted to secure a website, you can just use Shure members and pretty much that's fine. If you want to make it a paid uh, membership, you can just add shortcuts. Now, if you want to connect your membership website with, uh, let's say, Fluent CRM to manage all your email automation, there is short triggers. So I guess this is a very good thing. This kind of like reminds me of these other membership plugins. They have all these features, but sometimes you just want something basic. So overall, I think that um, the way Shure Members has been designed, it's been designed in a well-thoughtful way because you only choose what you need for you to 
combine all your features, which is a very good thing. It keeps your members from being bloated. So that way, I think this is definitely a positive thing. Now, the way show members works kind of like reminds me of my solar system that I just purchased. So I know this is off topic, but how it works is, by the way, for those of you that know, don't know, this system is called Victron Energy, I think. Yeah, Victron Energy. So what they have is a system which is very modular. If you were to buy the inverter, you'd buy it separately. Now, if you need the uh, solar charge controller, that will be separate. If you need monitoring, that will be separate. So it has all these modules which you then combine based on, you know, pretty much what features you need. So at first it looks like a negative, why are you buying all these separate, you know, uh, things together? But it could be that you just want your inverter connected to your battery and that's it. Or you want your inverter connected to your charge controller, which then connects to your solar panels uh, and then your battery and that's it. Or you want a lot of monitoring and you want all these other features that comes with it. You know, it's pretty much, something that you can you know sort of like build together based on the functionality you need so that's how i see show members pretty much designed as so overall i think it is fantastic would i recommend it absolutely it's lightweight it's super fast and like i've just mentioned you choose your features based on what you want or what works for you anyway guys let me know what you think in the video description below until next time thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care